it's a multitask type of event. Not only are you launching films, not only are you watching films and trying to stay ahead of the curve, but you're also watching audience reaction and critical reaction to get a feel of the moment, of what's exciting, what's working, what's not working. And uh, as Tom says, it is so labor intensive because at the same time, we want to continue to network with agents and managers and directors as well. We, we think the summer's great, and we can usually stay on the screen for quite a while because we're the alternative programming to that summer, summer blockbuster, the robots and explosions. And our audience is, I guess, a more sophisticated audience. And with multiplexes that have 20 screens now, they want to serve everybody, so our movies sort of stay in there because they want to have the complete coverage. And there's more theaters than ever before that play, I guess, specialized product, I guess, as the Oscars expanded to, you know, 10 uh, possible Best Picture nominees. They need more room, and so there's getting a bigger spotlight on the specialized product that uh, gets people to pay more attention. And with the electronic media and Netflix and iTunes, we can get a trailer out to, let's say, to premiere it on uh, Yahoo, and two million people see our trailer in a weekend. There are always two or three really strong uh, specialized films in the summer. We had one with Magic in the Moonlight, which is going to go over $10 million next week. Uh, but the fact of the matter is, the high-quality specialized films, whatever the situation or the circumstances or because of awards, they're being held until the last quarter of the year. So you can't really judge the specialized film business by the summer. We have always kept up with the moment, the, with the trends, with what's happening in the town, in the city, in the zeitgeist, in the media. And, and once you stop doing that and once you step away from that, you sort of fall by the wayside. And so we're able to see a movie, see where it fits within the culture and in the marketplace. And we only buy the movies that we think we can make work in that area. So that's sort of, I think, been one of the keys to our success is because if we don't make money and our movies aren't successful, we're not going to be here. And every year we start out with a blank slate. So we've been doing it now for a long time. To what Tom is saying, we're very flexible. And so we're able to change with the changing of the times. And that's very important for continuity, um, to be fluid and to evolve as the times change in the marketplace and with, with the films. Also, there's a consistency to what we do. We kind of stick to our knitting. We are given the freedom to do what's best for each of these films. And there's proof in the pudding. We've been there now 23 years. And some of the films that we released in the first five years are still doing great on DVD and, and great on television. So these films become evergreens, which is really what we're all about. And a lot of it has to do with in the, within the culture of Sony, we really fit in well as part of the mosaic of all the Sony companies and it's been a great home and the fact that every year we have a certain amount of success I think this is the best lineup we've ever had is is proof that it's working we've got 25 people that work with us and Michael and I have always been hands-on and never tried to remove ourselves from the day-to-day -day business of releasing these movies and so most companies that maybe disappear the, the, the heads of the company move up and out of the day-to-day -day -day operation and uh, that a lot of times has an effect on what happens. And that, by the way, that's the same number of people we had when we started in 1992, 25 people. We, 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 it, specialized film business has to be a disciplined film business for it to work. And it's not about trying to win the weekend. The minute you start thinking in that mentality, then, then you have a problem realizing a profit or realizing continuity. You know, it's, business is better than ever. Uh, the fact that independent film has now become part of the mainstream culture is, is great for us. I, I couldn't have imagined where the business would be today when we first started in 92, and it's great.